The 2022 football season marks a new era for OBC football, including an addition of a new team in Lindenwood. What are you excited for this season? Well, first and foremost, I'm just excited that we're going to have what will be a typical football season. We have the tools of COVID and we can provide student athletes an opportunity to play football, the sport they love without the distractions they've had over the past two years. Additionally, I'm excited that we have seven football playing members in the OVC this year. The addition of Lindenwood brings new enthusiasm and excitement with the new team to this conference, and then the fellowship of the teams that have already been here over the years. We have a good foundation, lots of success over the years, and we plan to build on that for a tremendous football season. Important to the OVC and its member schools. Football is such a tremendous sport. It has such a Ability to bring people together on campus. There's nothing like a football Saturday. It's important for the esprit de corps. It's important for the sense of family within the conference. It's wonderful competition, and it heightens the visibility for this league in ways that many other sports can't. It really is just a tremendous rallying cry. Additionally, the OVC has a rich history of football, and so it gives us a platform to highlight all the tremendous stories of service within this league. Um, in the OVC, we have a history of embracing change. You cannot thrive for 75 years with being afraid of change. As Division I looks at transformation, transformation is focused on providing additional benefits to student athletes. That's certainly within the DNA of the Ohio Valley Conference. We have long been committed to using intercollegiate athletics as a means to serve our student athletes. So we look forward to the opportunity to contemplate change and find additional ways to support our students. With a lot of change nationally, the OVC has looked to unique partnerships for the betterment of its schools. In both football and in men's tennis, how do these partnerships come about and do you expect to see more innovative ideas like that in the future? Fortunately, the Ohio Valley Conference has a high level of credibility across Division I and many friends within the Division I conference ranks. As a result of those friendships and partnerships, and with the enthusiasm and support of the presidents, we've been able to form partnerships with other conferences to make us stronger in the process. As Division I looks to change the ability to partner with other conferences, as we have with the Big South in football, will make us stronger we will lean on one another to take the best of the best to create a football experience for our student athletes that's better than it's ever been before. We are stronger together, but we still cherish our independence and our unique brands. We think this is a neat model for the future and we look forward to developing it over the course of the next year. Um, recently, I had the honor of being selected to the NCAA Board of Governors. It is the highest ranking governance body at the NCAA. It consists of nine members from all three divisions and it's charged with plotting the course for the overall future of the NCAA. I'm quite humbled for this opportunity to serve. I was selected as a nominee from the commissioner's ranks and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to provide insight as a practitioner as this group looks to chart the course for the future of the NCA during these really interesting and somewhat turbulent times.